गुड मॉर्निंग मैडम वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग सर गुड मॉर्निंग मैडम सर गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल गुड मॉर्निंग सर गुड मॉर्निंग ओके टुडे विल डू द थर्ड प्रोग्राम the program 3 is this so till now uh you worked on one activity okay so now here in this uh, program uh, we'll create two activities and uh, you learn how to uh, move from one activity to the another activity and uh, you'll also learn how to carry the data or uh, send the information or share the information from one activity to the another activity so the problem statement is like this so create a sign up activity with username this is the sign up activity with username and password and validation of password should happen based on the following rules so here you can write any username but the password it has to satisfy all these constraints so password should contain upper case and lower case letters so password should contain letters and numbers password should contain special characters and the minimum length of the password must be 8 so default is 8 and 8 or more so less than 8 if you give uh, it should not accept okay on successful sign up that means if uh, you are able to give a password which satisfies all these constraints that is we say successful sign up then it should uh, the moment you click on the sign up activity here and if your password is matching all these constraints then it should take you to the login activity so the login activity uh should be uh, should come in front of you only if the password what you enter it is satisfying all these constraints okay so proceed to the next tag act, login activity this here the user should sign in using the username and password created during the sign up activity and again here you should go for entering the same username and the password which you entered here okay and then when you click on sign in if you are entering the same username and password which had entered here in the sign up activity it should take you to the one more screen uh, called as successful okay uh, if the username and password are matched then navigate to the next activity which displays login successful so there are not only two activities we have one more activity here so if if you enter the same username and password here so the one which you entered here and if it is matching then it should take you to the one more activity called as uh, login successful activity or else display a toast message saying login failed so login successful you'll go to the next activity and there uh, you, do, you got nothing to do you got to just display only login successful uh, message that's all so if it is unsuccessful if you have not entered either username or the password properly then within this activity itself within the login activity itself you should go for displaying a login failed toast message so user is given only two attempts after this display the toast message saying login failed attempt and disable the sign up uh, sign in button use a bundle to transfer the information from one activity to another activity so uh, two attempts they also says uh, you need to provide two attempts for the login if it doesn't uh, enter the valid username and password within the two attempt then you should go for uh, disabling the sign in button so that is one thing and the other thing is see uh, whatever the username and password you enter here and the password uh, you are checking whether it matches all these constraints or not and then before removing from the sign up activity to the next activity you should also send the data whatever you enter here so username and this password it has to be sent to this okay how to send that is one more thing you understand and the same thing will be entered here so whatever you entered will be matched with one Uh, which are sent from the sign up activity to the login activity of both matches you go to the sign in login successful screen 
otherwise you display a toast message here itself saying login unsuccessful and it also says um, two attempt maximum two attempts so if you're not able to enter uh, the correct username and password within those two attempts so what you got to do um, uh, disable this uh, sign in button so this is what uh, we'll be uh, doing now for today so totally uh, three activities we need to create here okay now first let us start with the sign up activity so uh, hope you people understood with the problem statement Yes, okay. Okay, so I have already opened. So uh, the project, so just to save time, I've already kept it open. So all of you also open the new project. Okay. Now this activity I'll design for sign up. I'll design something like this. So design some sign up activity, username, password and a sign up button. So we'll quickly design this and uh, we'll use uh, the linear layout to do this. Okay. So now you should not take much time to do all these things because they're already familiar. So let us do it fast. Okay. And then only thing here is you got to make this as the password or text. That's all. Because whatever I write here, it should not be revealed. Okay, so you got to make it as a password text. Well, so I'll go to the code. Hope all of you can see my screen. Yes, sir. Okay, so do it fast. So we'll try to finish this today itself. So linear. So linear layout. And then orientation vertical is enough. Sir, the second L is capital in linear layout. Okay. okay, I'll do that. So, vertical orientation you take. So, this text view, uh, let me delete here and width I say match parent. And I trap content now instead of hello world, we'll change this to sign up activity. Change it to sign up activity. Align it center. So give some text color, then text size. Okay. 
after this so just a second let me close this okay now after this you need username and password text okay edit text edit text so again width match parent height wrap content so here i give the int as enter user id then text text size 20 sp text alignment center and then id is required for this id so i'll give it as uid user id okay so this much now similarly create one more edit text width match parent height wrap content So again, int for this. Enter. Password. Text size. Sorry. Text size it is. Text size. 20 SP. Now input input type so this is not a normal text box i need to make it as text password so i'm showing you again input type okay all of you are able to get this hello yes input type say text password okay next so id i'll give it as pwd password and after this we need a sign up button i'm creating a button so width again i'll say match parent and i trap content text on the button i'll say it as sign up then text alignment center id you give it a sign up itself on click on click is required on click again i call the method sign up okay that's all so this is the sign up activity we are done with that let me open the design so does a design looks like this and i forgot to do the central al alignment of this let me do that so the password is not centered align text alignment center now this is how your sign up activity should look now is it clear so if you finished till here no sir still doing Please let me know once you're done. I, I... 
Yes, yes, tell me. That's all, sir. So I want to see that, sir. Okay. Uh, shall I proceed now? So we'll write main activity dot Java. Okay. Now here, so we'll create objects to uh, edit text object. Edit text. One is UID and the one is password. Or this, you can take it as a username. Username. Now inside on create, so make these two point to the UI elements. Username is equal to find view by ID r dot id dot. So UID is the ID what I've given to the first edit text, and similarly. Password is equal to find view by ID or dot ID dot. So I've given PWD as the ID for the second edit text. So next we got to write the method sign up method. Public void sign up this is the name of the method which I have given on click of the button sign up view view v now here so we got to uh, make sure whether the password entered by the user is correct or not. Okay. What we do now, we'll write an if statement. If I need to check my password. Okay. So first I'll check whether the password entered by the user is greater than or equal to eight or not. Okay. So I'm doing that here. Now my object PASSWD is pointing to it. I'm using that P A S S W D. Okay. Dot. I'm getting the text because I need to get the text what is entered by the user and then convert it into string. Then I find the length of it. Dot length. So greater than or equal to eight. Eight and I should also validate and check whether it is satisfying all the constraints uh, which were given in the problem statement. So again, let me write. Validate. So this is not a built in function, so we are going to write the definition for this later. So I'm, I'm taking the name of the method as validate password. Validate password and to this I'll pass the password. ASSWD dot get text dot to string. So if you understood here, so validate password it is showing in red because we got to write uh, the definition for the validate password method. Yes, sir. Okay, now. So if this is true, if it is greater than eight also, and if the return value from validate password is true, then I go for writing here uh, to uh, go to the next uh, activity that is uh, sign in activity. Along with that, I also pass the information. Now in the else part, I have to display. If, if, if I'm not entering the password which satisfies all the constraint, I have to go for displaying the toast message. So what we'll do is we'll fill this and this later. First, we'll write the definition for validating the password. OK, I'll just come out of this method sign up method. I'm just coming outside the sign up method. Now we'll write the definition for validate password. So public. Void. Validate password. 
I take the string. So let me give the name of the variable as PASS WORD password. Okay. Now here we need uh, three classes here. One is sorry, two classes. One is the pattern class. Another one is the matcher class. So let me declare uh, one object of type pattern class, another object of class class matcher. OK. So there is a class with the name pattern. See, so it's a regular expression. I'm going to write a regular expression now and you have to understand that regular expression and that regular expression is going to uh, 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 satisfy all the constraints which I showed you in the problem statement. So I'm writing the pattern class now. So Java X util dot regular X. OK, so pattern. Let me declare an object of this. So I'll take the name of the object as PTRN pattern. Next, similarly, uh, I, I need to uh, create one more object, matcher object. So there is one more class with the name matcher. M A T C H. See again. So matcher class Java dot util dot regular X. So if you press enter, so all those packages are imported here. You can see matcher and the pattern is imported. Now here I declare an object with the name MAT. Uh, OK, enough so matcher object. Now so we got to create the regular expression. So I have created one object pattern object, one matcher object I'm creating. And then we'll go for writing the regular expression which satisfies all the constraints which were given in the problem statement. Now I write it as a string. String. OK, so now I'm going to create the pattern now. So PASSWRD password PT. So let me give it as PTRN pattern is equal to. OK, now so uh, this is what you have to understand carefully now. So the pattern. So I'm writing now inside this two double quotes. So the beginning of the pattern is indicated by writing the caret symbol. So this says. So this is the start of the pattern. OK, now inside this so I'm opening the parenthesis. So I'm writing question mark and equal to. Now what this question mark equal to combination says is consume everything. Say I write some password, say 10 letter password I write. What it will do? What this question mark equal to is saying is consume everything. Take everything. Take the entire password uh, which I've written of length 10 character and then backtrack the password to see whether at least one single occurrence of this is not there or not. So what I'm writing. So star dot and a star. See what question mark and equal to is saying is take everything. Take everything entered by the user. OK, uh, what the user enters for the password and this what dot and star saying is. Dot and star saying is backtrack to check. A to Z. Backtrack the password entered by the user to check whether there is at least a single occurrence of uppercase A to uppercase Z. OP people are able to understand what I wrote here. Hello. Yes, sir. Yeah, so what this is saying, so this caret symbol, what it says this is the beginning of the pattern. Understood? Please unmute and respond to me quickly. Let us not waste time. This is yes. saying beginning of the pattern. Yes or no? Yes, sir. OK, and what this question mark and equal to is saying? What it indicates? Take everything, consume everything or entire password it takes and this dot and star says backtrack the password entered by the user to check whether there is at least single occurrence, at least one occurrence of uppercase A to Z. Is that clear now? 
say uh, for example say this is what the password i have entered a b c d e f okay so let me make one upper case d e f so i want to check whether there is one upper case in my password now what is that i do so i'm telling the system to take this entire thing and then this question mark and dot star is saying dot and star is saying backtrack this password to check whether there is one single occurrence of a to z so even if if, if so uh, at least one occurrence of a to z even if you have more than uh, one upper case also fine but this is not mandating that the upper case letter should be at the beginning or at the end so you, you can have upper case letter anywhere inside your password yes or no yes sir okay now so now so the first thing here so what it said where is it here so the password should contain uppercase and lowercase letters now i am checking for the uppercase letter i checked here by writing this pattern i'm checking for the uppercase letter now similarly i should go for checking for the lowercase letter as well again open one more parenthesis okay now question mark equal to say take everything and then backtrack this dot and star says backtrack to find what lowercase a to z and close the parenthesis you got to be very careful while writing okay and similarly the question also says what so the password should contain letters and numbers okay so letters is fine here upper case and lower case letters are done now the numbers again open parenthesis question mark question mark equal to star dot star bracket 0 to 9 again at least so there should be one occurrence of a digit from 0 to 9 okay and and where anywhere anywhere inside the password so we are not restricting it the digit must be at the beginning or at the end or uh, in the second position or in the third position we are not restricting that is the reason we are saying take everything entered by the user backtrack the password entered by the user to check whether these things are present or not next so the question also says so letters and numbers are done the password should contain at least one special character okay now again open the bracket question mark equal to dot star okay inside the big bracket so go for listing all the special characters so we have greater than sorry less than greater than so slash at delete percentage dollar hash then or can have plus equal to okay so many things uh, uh enough i think so so now what it will do it will check whether you have given at least one special character which i mentioned here okay so at least one special character which is mentioned here if you are writing a special character which is not in this list again it says uh, the password is not matching uh, the given constraints okay so hope people understood this close uh, the big bracket and close the small bracket is it clear yes sir okay next so uh, try to list as many special characters as possible here i have listed only this many okay so you can go for listing even more number of special characters also and then question mark again equal to dot no not sorry this is for um, uh, checking the white spaces i should not have white space okay so s double slash upper case s yes, plus dollar so this will exclude the white spaces because i don't want the white spaces in my password okay next i i put a dot okay then open the curly braces 8 comma close the curly braces now what this is saying is now it's saying so i can minimum eight character should be there in my password so this i'm already checking here but still we are checking within the pattern as well okay eight characters and comma after comma i'm not written anything what does it mean so eight or more it is say 
uh, I, I want uh, the password length to be either eight or nine, then eight comma nine I'll write. OK, so something like that. So. So now I want it as eight or more. I'm writing it eight and the other number is blank. That means it will take uh, accept any password whose length is greater than uh, or equal to eight. OK, and, and the password should satisfy all these things. Next. So this just was the marking uh, to say it is the beginning of the pattern. Now similarly, how do you say the end of the pattern? So dollar, OK, so and then close your semicolon. So this is what the pattern you have to remember and you have to write. And this is the pattern which is going to uh, validate the password for all these constraints. OK, so any doubts in this? Any doubts? Now let me write one password. OK, so one valid password. So what I'll do. So let me write A. G. T six, then at the rate. OK, and then. So W. Uh, digit is there. OK, uppercase is there. Lowercase is there. Special character is there. Now, is this password satisfying all the constraints? See, so first what it will do? So it will take entire thing, it will consume everything, and then it will backtrack to find whether there is at least one uppercase letter. So it will backtrack. It will start scanning the password from here. Oh, it found. So uppercase letter is there. That means this is true now. Okay. So this this uh, part of the pattern is present inside the given password. Next again, it will backtrack this password to see whether there is at least one lowercase letter. Yeah, it can find the lowercase letter it, here itself. N is the lowercase letter, so one is found good. And again, it will backtrack the password to see there is at least one uh, what? Mm, digit is present, so yes, six is present. Then backtrack to see at least any one of the special character is present. Yes, at the rate is present. And then it will backtrack to see whether there is any uh, what white spaces? I am not given any white spaces, and it will check whether there is the total number of characters is eight. Yes, it is eight, and even it could be more also. Now, so the entire thing, you know, so the pa pattern which of the password whatever it done, it is true from all the perspective, and and this is a valid pass uh, password. Okay, now, now how to validate? This is just a string, so this is just a string now, normal ordinary string. What I have written. I have written it as a string and assigned it to the string variable. Now, how do I check this? So we have something called as. See. So I've created a pattern object uh, object, right? I need to make this as a pattern now. So the string I need to convert it into a pattern. So I've created a pattern object with the name PTRN. PTRN is equal to so inside this class. OK, a uh, pattern class. There is a static method with the name compile. The pattern. What is the pattern? Pattern is the name of the class dot compile. OK, so it is a static method. So why we say it is a static method? See, I'm not invoking this uh, uh, execution of compile method on the instance of this particular class. So it is directly invoked using the uh, class name pattern dot pattern is the class dot compile. Now what to compile now? My string pattern. Where is my string uh, now? So here, password pattern. So this is what I pass now. Password pattern. Now what happens now? So my string is compiled in the form of a pattern and it is assigned to this object PTRN. Next, what I have to do? I have to check whether the password entered. This is the password now. The password which I'm passing from the validate method. Now I got to check whether this password is satisfying this pattern or not. Now how to do that again? So let me take the matcher object is equal to so again inside the matcher class. There is a method called as matcher. Now how to invoke that matcher class dot. Matcher. One second. Oh, sorry. Uh, it is see. Uh, matcher is equal to pattern dot. 
PATRN. So this object. PTRN PTRN dot matcher matcher. You got to pass the password. So what is the variable which I'm writing now here? This this password. password. So I'm checking whether this password matches with this pattern or not. And next what I say. Return. Return. Mat dot matches. So there is see this is this matcher is a method. OK, it's giving me some error. So make validate password return bool. Oh, yeah, I forgot to do that. I've written it as wide, so I got to make it as bool because it returns a boolean value. Boolean. Okay, it returns a boolean value. See, this matcher is not a static method. It is an instance method. So I'm invoking it on using the pattern object pattern dot matcher. I'm passing the password so it will try to uh, check whether this password what the user has entered is matching this pattern or not this particular pattern. So and then returns to this object MAT. Now on this MAT object I'm invoking the execution of the method matches. What this matches is going to do if my password is matching this pattern, then it returns true. Otherwise it returns false. So any doubts here, please ask me. Don't confuse with the names. Is that fine? And make the return type of validate password as Boolean. Any doubts here? So don't make me to wait for a long time. Please respond quickly. Yes, sir. Yeah, understood. All, all of you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So now we'll come back. If the length of the password is greater than or equal to eight and the validate. Okay. So this also returns true. Then I have to write the statements inside. If so, the statement what I'm going to write here, what it should do, it should prepare the data, build the data, and send this bundle data to the another activity, sign in activity, and it should, it, it should also. Uh, take you from this screen this activity to the another activity that is what i need to write so otherwise in the else part i have to make a toast message and say so password entered is not satisfying the constraints okay let, let us finish this else part first so toast so i have told already in the previous class about this toast toast so password is not satisfying so not meeting all the constraints. Or you can just say, uh, yeah, it's fine. And then the length, instead of short, you change it to long. So now we'll go for writing the statements inside the if part. Okay. Now first thing, what I write here, so let us display the toast again here also and we say sign up successful. Sign up successful. Okay. And length you change it to long. Now after this. So now you are understanding one more new thing. See, I, I, I got to display the sign up successful toast message and then we got to take the screen or the activity from uh, this to the another activity that is sign in activity. Okay, but we, we have not yet created the sign in activity. Okay, let us create the sign in activity. Now, how to do that? Okay, come to the layout. Right click on this. 
so new activity so people are following hello yes. so so i'm showing you again right click on layout go to new activity again empty activity click on empty activity okay now it'll ask you so activity name so if you want you can change it to uh, login activity or sign in activity okay so uh, let me change it or let it be as it is okay will not uh, change and make it as confused and then it is also asking so do you want to make this activity too as the launcher activity no 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 so we need not make this as a launcher activity our launcher activity should be the sign up activity itself and and from the sign up activity after you enter the password which satisfies all the constraints it should take you to the sign in activity so i'll just say finish so can you repeat that oh okay one second uh, let me delete it and show you again So I don't have uh, the pause option here. No option for pausing the recording. See, uh, I'm showing it, but I've already added it. Okay, uh, let me delete it. Oh, I don't know. I think I deleted. Oh, sorry. I I deleted my. Instead of deleting this, I deleted uh, the layout file of this main activity. Oh, I don't know what to do now. Yeah, uh, let me take it from here. Sorry, I, I deleted the other one. This main, instead of deleting this, I deleted that one. I'll just copy paste from here.
I think I've given a different name here. UID. Okay, and then instead of password, here I've written as and on click let me check yeah it is sign up only yeah now it is fine oh, now i have to delete this uh, do you want me to show it again Okay, now let me create. See, right click on layout. Go to new activity. Empty activity. This uh, let me change it to sign in. Sign in activity. Okay, and then say finish. OK, so the, the other one is gone. Now I've changed, given the name of the activity, it's a sign in and the layout file also activity dot sign in dot XML. OK, now quickly we'll design the sign in activity now. So this is what the sign in or the login activity. So you should have the title name as the login activity. So again, change it to linear layout. Hope all of you are able to do till here. Orientation vertical. Text view. Match parent. I trap content. And then. Text sign in activity text alignment center text size the TSP text color. That's all. Okay, let me see the design ones. Yeah, this is something like this. Next. So we'll uh, write the edit text. Match parent. So all of you are able to do till here. Please respond. Your response is very poor. So when I ask something, if you respond immediately, I'll, I can understand what is the status at the other side. So if you want me to wait, I can wait. 
Uh, all of you are able to start the second activity? Yes, sir. Okay. ID. I'll give it as UID again. Even in this also. Hint. I'll enter. Enter UID. Alignment center text size 20 SP. OK, now similarly one more edit text. Uh, width match parent height wrap content. ID. Password. Int. Uh, we'll give it as enter password text alignment center and text size SP. After this, uh, and again, this is a password uh, file. So input type, input type text password. Don't forget to do this. And then button. Width match parent height wrap content. ID. Sign in. Text. Sign in. or login, whatever you want. Text align center and then on click. On click. We'll call the method. Sign up. Now the design, it should look something like this. OK. Now we'll go back to the main activity. OK, your sign up activity. So this we have designed now and the name what I've given is sign in sign in activity. So let us go back to the main activity here. OK, so I'm just uh, displaying sign up successful all these things next. So I got to create an intent. So the name of the class is intent. So you, you can make uh, the transition from the sign up activity to the sign in activity after a successful sign up by using the intent. Intents are used for uh, what? Uh, the transition from one activity to the another activity. So intent, I-N-T, E-N-T. So you got there, intent. So let me say I. I is the name of the object which I'm creating. So intent uh, uh, class object it is, is equal to, okay. So intent. new intent. Now here you have to pass two things. One is this and then the other thing is uh, the name of the uh, class to which you need to transit. So now my other class is sign in sign in class sign in dot like this. So done. So from this activity, I need to uh, transit to the sign in dot class. This, this is what you got to give. Don't give this. Don't give the layout file name. So you got to give the activity file name that is sign in dot class. Dot class is the extension you have to mention. Okay. Next. So if I just write right now, so don't copy this. Start activity. Start activity I. Now what will happen is, so now it will take the screen from this activity that is 
the sign up activity to the sign in activity. It will go to the sign in activity, but so it is not just going to the sign in activity. So along with uh, that, I need to transfer the data also. What data I need to transfer? I need to transfer the username and the password. OK, uh, whatever the user enters here. Now how to do that? So to do that before starting the activity, so you got to create a bundle of data. So for that there is another class with the name bundle. So bundle, let me create the name of the object as B bundle B is equal to new bundle. Now to this bundle, you, I need to add the data. OK, so how to add the data? B dot put string. So uh, to this bundle, you can add the key value pages. OK, now key. So let me take it as UID. ID and the value is. So what is the object that is pointing to the UID? So it is this username user name dot get text dot to string. This is the key value one key value pair and similarly B dot put string password. Password. Comma. And, and name of the object that is pointing to the password text box is PASS WD dot get text. Dot get text. Dot to string. So I've added these two as the key value pairs to my bundle. So now. This is the bundle that is created now. I need to add this bundle to my intent. So intent is something like a vehicle. OK, now this is <coughs> bundle is something like a luggage. Now I need to put this luggage to my intent vehicle. How do I put? I dot. I dot put extras. I dot put extras. This put extras method what it will do. So it is not just one key value pair which you are sending. You are sending many key value pairs. So there are two key value pairs. So you have to use put extras and and where is this data inside the bundle? What is the name of the bundle? B. So people understood. Yes. See, intent is something like a train that takes you from this activity that is sign up activity to the sign in activity. So it is not an just empty train that we are sending now into this train. We are adding this extra luggage also. So we have created a bundle. Mute is on Mute cricket prepare Madi the way. Our Mute will get this is the data key value pairs we have put and this Mute entire Mute is put into this train now. OK, I dot put extra B and then start activity when I send. So the train moves from this activity or train in the sense intent will take you from the sign up activity to the sign in activity. Along with that, you have this data also passed. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. OK. So any number of key value pairs you can add like this. OK, this is the key and this is the value. This is the key and this is the value and you should remember these key values. So keys you should remember. So because using these keys, we access the data in the other activity. Now we'll go to sign in dot Java. So we have already written this layout file. Sign in activity is written. Now sign in dot Java we got to write. Now what is that you'll write inside the sign in dot Java? So just the code for verifying uh, uh, the username and password, what the user enters in the sign in activity with the data which is there inside the bundle. Okay, now we'll quickly do this. So again, create to a text object here. Edit text. The so one is username. Another one is password. Now here you make these two thing points. So username point to the what uh, UID field of the sign in activity and similarly the password field to point to the here password uh, uh, edit text of sign in activity. Okay. 
Now this I've taken in uppercase. Let me make it as lowercase. OK, now. User name is equal to find. V by ID R dot ID dot. UID. Similarly, password. Is equal to find. View by ID R dot ID dot. Password. So I don't know. I think I've given it as PWD only. Yeah, PWD. And then so public sign in method we are writing void sign in view v okay. now you have to check if so the password username entered by the uh, user in the sign in activity. How do I access it? User. Oh, uh, before that, uh, let us uh, get the data from the bundle. OK, so we need to get the data from the bundle and then we will go for because bundle uh, we have not opened it yet. So so let me create the bundle object here also. So bundle B is equal to now here I need to get the data. OK. So from the intent, I need to get the data to the bundle. So there is a method called as get intent. Because within the intent, there is already the uh, bundle data present. So get intent dot get extras. So it was added as extras. OK, from the intent, we are getting the uh, data key value pairs which were added uh, 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 to this bundle object B. Next what we do, so string. Create a string variable. String uname is equal to username is equal to. Now using this object B, I get string. I do get string. Get string. So and and to this, see, e dot get string. So what it takes? Key you have to pass. Now what is the key value which I've used? Let me go back to the main activity dot Java. While adding this username, the key what I've used is UID. Same thing I have to use here. UID. So write it in double quote. OK. Similarly. Ring. Password is equal to B dot get string. Now name of the key is. I've given full password PASS WORD. Password. So from the bundle, I've extracted the values. Now, what this get string will do, if you pass the key, it takes the value associated with this key and it is assigned to your name. And then the password uh, value associated with the password key is extracted and it is assigned to uh, PASS WD. Now, what I'll do, so I go for equating them here. If OK, so first I take this username. OK. User name dot get text dot to string. Now which which text I'm getting now? This is what text? Hello. The one given sign up page. Sign in yeah, page. The one which we enter in the sign in page. Okay. Username dot get text to string dot equals. There is a method with the name equals. Okay. You pass you name. Okay. And and uh, what is the name of password? PASSWRD, OK. PASSWRD dot get text dot to string dot equals uh, with what? This password PASSWD. So if it's the same, then what do you have to do? Again, the question says so if uh, username and password is correct, 
So take him to the one more screen and say login successful. One more activity and say login successful. Otherwise, what it says tells you to display login unsuccessful. Okay, we'll put a toast in the same activity. You have to display a toast message saying. Or sign in. Sign in. Unsuccessful. Okay, and length you change it to long. Long. Okay, now here. So again, I need to uh, create. Let us create one more toast. And say sign in successful. Sign in successful. And after that, so we'll take the screen to length long. So again, how do I move from this activity to the another activity? What is the class I have to use? Intent. 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 I is equal to new intent. This comma. So to uh, success dot class. So this success I'm not yet written. So that is the reason it is saying. Uh, in red. So now we'll go for adding this also. Okay. So I right click on the layout again. New activity, empty activity. Now this I'll change it to success. Okay. And I'm saying finish. So can you show the sign in dot Java? Yeah, you can. Yeah, I'll show. Yeah, sign in dot Java. Did you get it? Yes, sir. Okay. So now success. Uh, see success activity success dot XML and uh, success. Um, uh, dot Java is also there. Now we'll go to activity success. So what we will do is very simple design here. We are not going to do uh, more designing. So just remove this and again make it as linear layout. Linear layout. So orientation is also not necessary. Just come here add uh, a text view. So width you say uh, match parent, height you say wrap content, and then so text is login successful and text size 30 SP. Text alignment center and so one more you add layout gravity also center. Okay, text color. This is fine. Okay, so if you want this color code, please make a note. I am writing again text color. So this is a 3700 B3. Now if I go to the design, 
it looks like this exactly at the center login successful to get this exactly at the center what you have to do is so don't specify any orientation for the linear layout here so just in the text view make width as match parent and height as wrap content and use the layout gravity as center okay so op people are uh, able to finish till here now if i go to uh, this uh, sign in dot java you can see earlier success dot class was showing in red now it is in uh, so the color as the uh, success is black now so change from red to black Okay, it's saying method sign in has never used. Let me check whether uh, here what is the name I've given. Oh, this is sign in. I've given it as sign up. Sign in. Yeah, now it is correct. So understood now? Shall we go for executing? I'll show you once again everything. See activity main.xml. So this is where we do the sign up. Okay, and let me align this to the center. So this is sign up activity. So here what we are doing. So when I click on sign up, I'm going to check whether the password entered by the user is greater than or equal to eight. And also I validate it by uh, writing a pattern to check whether it is satisfying all the constraints given in the question or not. And if everything is fine, so it says sign up successful and takes you to the another screen sign in activity. Uh, and along with that, uh, the username and password is also sent. So in the other activity here in the sign in activity, user will again enter the same user ID and password if he enters the same thing and clicks on the sign in so again it will take him to the login successful screen if he's entering username password wrong then it displays uh, login uh, what is it uh, unsuccessful okay uh, and uh, there is one more thing uh, you have to disable the sign in button after uh, two unsuccessful attempts okay so we'll do that later so first we'll go for running this so i'm running it So I have already kept my emulator running. So it is already running. Okay, I'll say disconnect. So it is installing. Okay. 
now launching the activity. So success operation succeeded. See my sign up activity. Now let me enter some wrong password. The password which is not uh, satisfying the constraint. OK, so here I'll write my name and here I'll write just one, two, three, four, five, six till six I've entered. So all digits, we don't have letters, we don't have special characters. So if I click on sign up, it should say now. See password not meeting the constraint. Just observe here. You get a toast. Password not meeting the constraints. OK, now uh, let me uh, write the password uh, somewhere here in the text box first. So in the. Uh, let me take some file. So this is what I enter now. So, so I write uh, randomly. So let me take first one as a lowercase letter itself. Next is uppercase N and then a digit and then a special character ampersand. I don't know whether I've written it or not. So I've written this uh, uh, at the rate. OK, and then I Q and then here to one more uh, P. And then one more digit will take five. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven I have. So again, it should not accept it. OK, because uh, this is not satisfying. So so there is one letter is there. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, one lowercase, one uppercase, lowercase letters also there, uppercase letters also there, and digit is also there. Only thing is um, minimum eight, is, it is not satisfying. OK, so what I'll do. I'll erase this and I'll go for pasting. The password which I copied, which I entered, the same thing I pasted. So I'm clicking on sign up. See password not meeting the constraint. So even though you have special characters, uppercase, lowercase, digit, everything, but it is not satisfying the minimum length. That is eight. Okay, now let me come here and add one more uh, special character. Uh, so I think I've used plus. Yeah, we'll use plus. OK, now copying this going back here. I'll erase all these things. I'll paste. Now it is satisfying all the constraints. If I click on sign up, it should take me to this sign in activity. So you sign up successful you got and where are you now? in the sign in activity. OK, now here in the sign in activity, I'll write my name again. So Arish and then the password. Let me enter some incorrect password. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now I'm trying to match this with the uh, username and password which is received through the bundle. So username is matching, but the password is not matching. So one, two, three, four, five, six I have given, but uh, the password which is received in the bundle is different. So if I click on sign in now, it should say a toast message sign in unsuccessful sign in unsuccessful now. So this password only I'll put. OK, I'm clicking on sign in now it will take you to the screen sign in successful. It said. Oh, sorry. That means I've made a mistake here. So only successful I've written, but I forgot to uh, complete that. So where is it in sign in dot Java? So sign in successful and after this I forgot to write one more statement. What is that? Start. Start activity. So all of you are uh, looking here. Yes, sir. Yeah, 
this is what you got to do. I'm saving it. Now let me rerun it again. Oh, where? Here. And uh, two successful uh, after two unsuccessful attempts, uh, we got to disable still uh, the what? Uh, sign in button. So we will do that. Again, it is back here to the sign up activity. Okay, I'll put the same password, valid password. Okay, sign up. It says sign up successful. And then, and so I'm in the sign in activity now. Again, I'll enter the correct password. So sign in. Sign in successful and it will. Not coming, it's still not coming. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, I've given it a success. Sign in successful intent. Start activity. Oh, it's correct. Uh, just a second. Let me see this. Activity success, correct. Sir? Yeah, tell me, tell me. Actually, my uh, sign up page is not directing me to the sign in page, sir. Yeah, let, let, let us check. Uh, let me check because I'm not getting this uh, success uh, page. I'm not coming to the success page. Let me check this and I'll pay attention towards others. Just a second, one second. Let me finish this. Start activity. I. Why it is not starting? So, okay, it has actually stopped. I have to rerun it. Okay, I think it will take some time. Okay. 
Okay, succeeded. Okay, I got it. Please. Copying the password. Sign up successful. Sign in. Sign in. Yeah, sign in successful. And we are into the login page now. OK, earlier uh, that execution was not proper. So that's why uh, we are not getting it. So now we'll quickly uh, check for the attempts, unsuccessful attempts. OK, now where I got to check, I got to check here in the sign in activity. So here let us take uh, an integer variable int. Now here, so every time uh, I have this uh, sign in unsuccessful message displayed, I, I check if, sorry, I, I go for incrementing. So let me say attempts is equal to zero. Uh, let us increment attempts plus plus. And we'll also check if attempts attempts is equal to is equal to so more than two, right? Three, okay. Uh, then so we got to disable the sign in button, okay. Now how to do that? See for sign in button, I need to use here in the code. For that purpose, I need to create again uh, one more object of type button button so let me say sign in now make the sign in of uh, object to point to the sign in button sign in is equal to find find view by id or dot id dot so i've given the id as sign in now here what I'll do sign in dot um, sign in dot uh, is enabled is equal to false. Sorry, one second. Just sign n dot I just forgot the name of the method. Sign in dot start with disable this.
So set enabled is equal to false. So now this will make uh, the sign in button uh, to go disable. So hope you understood. On, on a successful sign up again, uh, what you can do is before going attempts is equal to zero. You can make it as attempts. equal to zero. So I'm saving it. Start rerunning it again. And again, uh, make attempts as uh, zero and uh, yeah, that is fine. I think attempts as zero and you can go for uh, sign in dot set enabled or true. Also you can do here. So now we'll do. Uh, two unsuccessful attempts. So all of you are uh, observing here. So all of you are observing here. Yes, sir. So see, I'm signing up. I've given the valid password. Now in the sign up, I'll make mistake. So sign in unsuccessful one time. So now the attempt is incremented. OK. Now second time also. So sign in unsuccessful. So now the count is two. Now again. Sign in unsuccessful. OK, now click. Unsuccessful. So three times finished. But still it is taking. Let me display here the attempts plus plus and we'll go for. Attempting. Unsuccessful. Number of. Attempts. Is equal to. So we'll see whether uh, the attempts is getting incremented or not. So if it is getting incremented, then some problem with this. I'll uh, check this and tell you. Valid password I'm putting now. 
actually sign up. Okay, now, so invalid password. So, so now the thing is, so it is not getting updated. So my new program is now it's not taking. So because it said only me sign up successful and it didn't, I didn't get this message number of attempts. That means what? So I have to stop it and rerun it again. OK, uh, let me do that. Then it will come definitely. So this updated one, it's not taking. I'm stopping it. So I'm running it again. So success now invalid password I'm writing. See login answer so number of attempts is one. One attempt is finished. Again sign in. So login unsuccessful number of attempts is two. And now see uh, login on number of attempts three. So see the sign in button now. So now I cannot click. It is disabled. Hope you understood. Hello. Yes, sir. OK, only thing is uh, the updated program was not getting uh, pushed onto the emulator. So now I stopped it and I reran it. It is working fine. OK, all of you do this much. OK, this is uh, the complete program. So. So let me stop recording now. I'll share the recording with all.